One of the hardest parts for me was um, was actually when Yahoo offered to buy the company for, for a lot of money. You know, at the end of that, Dustin and I just decided, you know, no, we think that we can actually go connect more than just the 10 million people who are in schools. We can go beyond that and, and have this really be a successful thing. And we just had to go for it. But that was really stressful because a lot of people really thought that we should sell the company. The part that was painful wasn't, wasn't turning down the offer. It was the fact that after that, um, a huge amounts of the company quit because they didn't believe in, in what we were what we were doing. Right, I mean, if you look at the management team that we had... Did that whole um, management team leave? The whole management team. So I actually think when you do stuff well, you don't, you, you shouldn't have to do big, crazy things. You know, we bought, um, you know, the Oculus team for a lot of money. If we'd done a better job of building up some of the expertise to do some of that stuff internally, then, you know, maybe we wouldn't have had to do that. But, you know, instead we, we hadn't done that. And, you know, the Oculus team is by far the most talented team working on that problem. Um, so it just made sense to go make this big move. But I actually kind of think as, as CEO, it's your job to not get into a position where you need to be doing these crazy things, right? right? And, yes. You know, of course it's, it's inevitable, you know, over the period of doing stuff, you'll, um, you know, you can't be ahead of everything. So it's better to, um, to make big moves and be willing to, to do that than, you know, have pride and, and not do that and never admit that you, that you um, could have done something better in the past. But, but I think when stuff is working well, you're, you're learning incrementally and, and growing that way. I'm here to tell you that finding your purpose isn't enough. The challenge for our generation is to create a world where everyone has a sense of purpose. One of my favorite stories is when JFK went to go visit the NASA Space Center and he saw a janitor holding a broom and he asked him what he was doing and the janitor replied, Mr. President, I'm helping put a man on the moon. Purpose is that feeling that you are a part of something bigger than yourself, that you are needed and that you have something better ahead to work for. Purpose is what creates true happiness. I remember that night I launched Facebook from that little dorm in Kirkland House. I went to Noakes with my friend KX, and I remember telling him clearly that I was excited to help connect the Harvard community, but one day someone would connect the whole world. The thing is, it never even occurred to me that that someone might be us. We were just college kids. We didn't know anything about that. There were all these great big technology companies with all these resources, and I just assumed one of them would do it. But this idea was so clear to us that all people want to connect. So we just kept working on it day after day after day. And I know that a lot of you are gonna have your own stories just like this. A change in the world that seems so clear that you are sure someone else is going to do it but they're not, you will. But it's not enough to have that purpose yourself. You also have to create a sense of purpose for others. And I found that out the hard way. You see, my hope was never to build a company. I wanted to have an impact. And as all these people started joining us, I just assumed that that's what they wanted to do too. So I never took the time to explain what it was that I hoped we'd build. A couple years in, some big companies wanted to buy us. I didn't want to sell. I wanted to see if we could connect more people. And we were building the first version of Newsfeed at the time, and I thought, if we could just launch this, it could change how we all learn about the world. Nearly everyone else wanted to sell. Without a sense of higher purpose, this was their startup dream come true, and it tore our company apart. After one particularly tense argument, one of my close advisors told me if I didn't agree to sell the company right now, I would regret that decision for the rest of my life. Relationships were so frayed that within a year or so, every single person on our management team was gone. That was my hardest time leading Facebook. I believed in what we were doing, but I felt alone. And worse, it was my fault. I wondered if I was just wrong, an imposter, a, a 22-year-old kid who had no idea how things actually worked. Now, years later, 
I understand that that is how things work when there's no sense of higher purpose. So it's up to all of us to create it so we can all keep moving forward together. Maybe you're asking yourself, can I really do this? Well, remember when I told you about that class I taught at the Boys and Girls Club? One day after class, I was talking to my students about going to college, and one of my top students raised his hand and said that he wasn't sure he could go to college because he's undocumented. He wasn't sure if they'd take him. Last year, I took him out to breakfast for his birthday, and I wanted to get him a gift, so I asked him what he wanted, and he just started talking about struggles that he saw other students in his class facing, and finally said, you know, I'd really just like a book on social justice. I was blown away. Here is a young guy who has every reason to be cynical. He wasn't sure if the country he calls home, the only one he's known, was going to deny him his dream of going to college. But he wasn't feeling sorry for himself. He wasn't even thinking of himself. He has a greater sense of purpose, and he's going to bring people along with him. It says something about our situation today that I can't even say his name because I don't want to put him at risk. But if a high school senior who doesn't know what the future holds for him can do his part to move the world forward, then we owe it to the world to do our part too.